Hey everyone, Mike Sherry with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing you a brand new product. It's a 2021 and a half Forest River R Pod 202. This is the first double axle travel trailer being offered by R Pod, and it really sticks true to a lot of the R Pod values being lightweight, innovative, uh, and yet roomy travel trailer. And this travel trailer came out about four months ago. We got our first one in and it sold the day it came in. Uh, and uh, this is our second one we've got in. And I wanted to jump on and give a video of this uh, new R-Pod and review it for you. So it is a seven and a half foot wide travel trailer. Still has the R-Pod aerodynamic front end is what we see on the normal shaped R-Pods. So it's going to cut down, uh, cut the wind going down the road very nicely. Does have the integrated front windshield in the travel trailer here, and also built-in rock guard at the bottom portion here. Does come with the power tongue jack and a propane bottle that will be filled. Also got a spot for a brand new battery, which we will place on the RV upon sale. Uh, there's no charge for filling the propane or putting new battery on, just part of the sale here at Paul Sherry's. Uh, it does have battery disconnect as you can see there and does have a spot for your seven pin plug to be stored. All new graphics on the exterior for the R-Pods for the latter part of 2021. If you see a gray or blue R-Pod, that's a pre-2021 model year change. So what this is going to be is what the 2022s are gonna look like. It does have storage that passes all the way through to the other side. Uh, the lightweight of the R-Pods is attributed one in part to the uh, construction here, which is aluminum construction. Have your water fill and water connection there. Slide room's nice deep slide room, really opens it up on the inside and it's all powered by the Swintech slide room system, which gives four points of pull and push. So this slide's gonna come out nice and even and come in nice and even compared to where they're only uh, pulled in and out by the bottom, which will cause a slide to jump as it goes in and out. So nice Swintech slide system. Has alloy wheels, again, two axles on this. Pump station's right down here. Coming up in here is insulated underbelly. Looking at the rear of the trailer, it does have a ladder to get up onto the roof. It is a molded roof or crown roof, they call it, that allows the uh, rain not to build, the rain water not to build up there. It does have a spare tire on this one, that is an option and power awning as well. This does have an outside camp kitchen area with a spray port for fresh water, a dorm style refrigerator up here with a little freezer section as well, which I like. And then what the refrigerator actually sits on is this base here, which I'll show you how it all compacts, but it comes with a, a nice wash basin, which is removable. And then this area over here is where your um, your gas grill goes. Now that's in the box in the front storage compartment. I don't know if you noticed that. I wanted to leave that in the box so the original owner has an opportunity to open that uh, fresh piece. And then this all is made of a metal base and it pushes in like a transformer into this space here. It all tucks away nice and neat underneath that refrigerator and door closes behind. Does have two outside speakers for your entertainment. That's going to play off your radio on the inside. Now the double axle R Pod does come with the more ride secure step entry step. Again, this is the R Pod 202. As Dale, that is the fiberglass backing. Uh, so typically it's a wood product on most fiberglass travel trailers. Our pod uses Asdale, which is a composite material behind, it's the backer behind the fiberglass. And benefit of that is it's lighter weight. And also in comparison to wood, it does not absorb water, which is very beneficial. As we walk in the entry door, to your right will be a pantry with adjustable shelving. And it's also tall enough if you want to put a, a rod up here to hang up clothes. It's deep enough as well to do that in there. 
another storage compartment down below and then on the very back wall of the travel trailer here is your kitchen comes with your Dometic this is a two-way refrigerator meaning it's got two ways of power to cool it one would be propane and battery power the other would be 110 volt electricity kitchen up here in the top it does have some cabinet work up here with some glass panels in the doors stainless steel vent for your stove top which is a two burner with this nice glass countertop extension here so when you're not cooking you can push this down and increase your usable countertop space which is very nice in a smaller trailer and then also has the half time convection oven the sink itself is going to be a circular sink Here's your hose for your outside spray port and then also has the nice high-rise faucet there is a window behind here it does open which I always like to point that out nice to have an opening window with a screen below the sink there is some indirect lighting there nice ambience I would personally leave that light on all the time that way in the middle of the night if you wake up you can see where you're walking in the slide room is the dinette system. Now this dinette is a nice rooming dinette, can fit four adults around it, has windows on all three walls. And I do want to mention here, again, all three windows open. So you can get some cross ventilation in the slide room here. And then the table, the legs do come out from underneath it and the table is going to rest on these four rest here and then the cushions will fold flat and that will create an extra sleeping area nice deep storage underneath that as well and then kind of the kick plate here is a is a metal type material and that's going to be you know kicked as people get in and out of the dinette's going to be a high wear area so that's nice they saw that and recognize that and put a durable material it does have ducted air conditioner system so you're going to get cold air from the front to the back and integrated speakers in the living room and bedroom area those are connected to your radio, which is Bluetooth ready. Also has an HDMI and USB input. Has television right here. And your control panel is going to be all along here. This is going to run your slide rooms, your awning control, tell you your levels of your tank so you don't overflow your toilet tank. Never want to do that. And also has this nice built-in shelf here. A great spot for cell phones as you're charging them. Uh, keys and things of that sort to rest on up here does have a hanging closet rod in here and it goes a little deeper uh, than the door opening which is always appreciated on a smaller trailer to maximize storage space it does have these little nooks here with a uh, kind of a bungee strap mesh material here that way you can keep your stuff on these shelves even during transit and it's not going to be all over the floor when you get there it does have the integrated space heater and fireplace and some more storage in the cabinet here. All right, there's two pocket sliding doors in this trailer, and as we progress forward, held together with a little magnetic catch, so they're gonna keep closed on you. And this gets us into the bathroom. So it's a walkthrough bathroom, which gives you a nice big bathroom, has a foot flush stool here, stand up shower, has a, the curtain already in the shower and skylight here as well. It does come with the big fan. It's going to ventilate this whole trailer with the gaps at the top of the door. You can open up a window maybe in the bedroom, maybe that window back there in the kitchen, and it's going to ventilate this whole trailer. It does have a sink here with hot and cold water, outlet here as well uh, for maybe electric toothbrushes, things of that sort to charge, shavers, and then does have a nice. Uh, spot here for your extra toiletries and towels. A couple drawers as well. It's a really a good amount of storage in this small trailer. Oh, I do want to mention this out. It has a built-in vac here. So you can open this up and you can sweep your debris right in there. And also has a spot here you can hook your, your vacuum hose that it comes with and turn it on and that will help keep your camper clean. This camper is going to be easy to keep clean because it's 100% linoleum, no carpet. Really just sweep it right out. Second pocket sliding door comes into our master bedroom. And boy, does it feel good in here with the white woodwork and the indirect lighting in the cabinet here. 
really just has a nice feel to it queen bed up front here does have a spot for television up here and a couple more cubbies here with the you know the bungee straps there to keep your uh, items in place another opening window hanging rod in this closet here window up front there that's the only one I believe that doesn't open being the front windshield does have nightstands on both sides of the bed USB power or normal electricity right here so that completes this walkthrough on this all new RPOD 202 double axle RPOD benefit of double axle over single axle is they're going to track down the road very nice compared to a single axle which may give you a little bit more sway also backing up a double axle trailer is much more uh, responsive than a single axle or single axle is uh, very uh, it'll turn on a dime on you if you ever backed up a single axle so it really turns quick on a single axle double axle is going to be a little bit easier to control when you're backing up uh, also uh, pricing availability by the time you see this video this trailer may be gone but you can pre-order yours today uh, by calling them uh, the phone number below and also pricing and availability will be on the links below financing is available with approved credit. Sounds like an infomercial, maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, but check out those links there if you are interested. And thanks as always for watching. Uh, have a great day, everyone.